We have an interesting um, subject today, Barbie the movie, but let's introduce ourselves quickly. So my name is Noel. I'm a MMA fighter, writer, singer, dancer, content creator f uh, for one championship, and I feel I can do it all in one. And today we have a beautiful invite who is Ty Emery, BKFC bare knuckle fighter. Can you introduce yourself? Thanks for having me on, Noel. Of course. <laughs> so I'm Ty Emery. I'm uh, fight for BKFC. I've had two bare knuckle fights. Five Muay Thai fights, two MMA AMI fights. Um, I played in the LFL um, in Australia and America. And yeah, I found myself living in Thailand for the last four years, um, doing martial arts and becoming a professional fighter. So yeah, no Noel from Tiger. She's, yeah. she's come here, lived in my one bedroom apartment. Um, we both were in our exciting stages of getting our contracts and and like manifesting like just into this amazing position that we're in now. Um, I think it's been like nine months. We were saying it's we could have had a baby. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but I just said we got a career, as you said. So yeah, that's uh, yeah, not too much else. Yeah, that's that's a that's great. That's amazing. It's such an honor to have you here as well. Actually, you're the first person I really deeply connected actually in Phuket so it makes sense that you're my first invite on the <laughs> podcast you know so perfect yeah perfect everything is, is going well as planned and yeah I thought we so we saw the movie Barbie I, to me it was for me it was an kind of an intuition uh, I felt we have to we had to see it I think everything brings us back to our childhood anyways and Barbie is such a well we're working from our inner child so mm -hmm. Well, exactly. of, of course, we're even now we're, we've just got filters of education or things we've learned from our environment or people or things we've read and, and uh, applied ourselves to. Um, so I like that, yeah, you kind of mentioned like we, we're watching things, everything reverts back to our childhood. Um, and I think for both of us, like watching the entire movie, um, it was stringing definitely chords from from just our entire lives. Um, mm -hmm. Especially being female, not to pull out and br burn my bra, but it's definitely a different route. Um, I'm sure for you through judo, it's been like that. I'm sure for you just as a fighter in a gym, female fighter in a gym, it's already different. Mm -hmm. How just a, a, a female getting a normal job can be different. Um, yeah, for sure. So it was, it was kind of interesting to see like how they played the Barbie. Yeah, for sure. I would definitely say it's a feminist, deeply feminist movie. Deeply feminist. Do you, um, uh, how would you say, associate yourself as a feminist? Uh, no, because I think women <laughs> can be ridiculous as well. Um, I think for me, as soon as I finished high school, I was in high school, I was adopted and I had two brothers. So that really like shoved me into a different world because I grew up just looking after my little sister. So to get adopted and have only brothers, I, you know, I had different rules in the house. He was allowed to go out drinking beer in high school on a Thursday night. I wasn't allowed to ever go out. So we, ha you know, we had different rules and that was the first time I kind of started to f ever even have a rule set where it was the boys could do one thing and I could do another thing. Um, so as soon as I left school, I was an electrician and I was the first female, you know, coming through the sort of rankings with that. Um, in a man's world. Already. In a man's world. So it's always been like in a man's world. I've always been, yeah, I've always just been in a man's world and having to pave, you know, a different thing for females. I was the first female electrical contractor of Australia. I was the first female ele um, thermographer. Um, so I wouldn't say I'm a feminist. I'm definitely someone who's had the ability and, and felt it in my heart that I need to, you know, use my skill set in all forms and my brain to show that maybe we're not just equal cause be, because I feel we are different. We're good and bad at different things. Um, but when working together in a team environment or as a team, which is what a man and female should do, um, it, it always like works out for the best. So I've had to be in situations where I'm digging trenches. Um, and for me, I've, I've had to go into these jobs no matter every single day of my life, even, even to today. Um, I have to do it to a set standard that's far above and beyond 
what could be acceptable for maybe somebody else on the same job site or in the gym or in the media or in marketing or, you know, mm-hmm. whatever really. Um, always having to go like above and beyond for my set standard um, or else being found to like ridicule. Um, I'm d- I definitely... F- Yeah, I definitely don't think I should... I would never go and burn my bra and anything like that, but I do feel there should be a bit more even... I wouldn't say, like, equal rights because I think we still have roles and I think because of the world we're living in, we're losing, like, some form of tradition and we're also forgetting, like, what our biology is is screaming for us to do, which I Mm -hmm. think, you know, a lot of people are like, women shouldn't be at home in the kitchen. Well, then who's going to cook for our families, guys? (laughs) <laughs> come on like so i think obviously the husband can cook too but i feel that in our in our nature and in our biology we still have certain attributes and strengths which with the right partner both can like fulfill. yeah fulfill fulfill within yourself and with and if they're playing the correct role then you want to be able to nurture their nurture someone but like I said, I'm also that same person that's always spoken up against people. I know there's a million situations um, I can bring it back to where I've been in a group or sitting down at like the office with just men and me having to, you know, stand up and use my voice and being seen as the bitch. But I really don't. I don't give up. I don't give a fuck, <laughs> For bro. sure. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not here to make somebody else like feel good. And yeah, there's a lot of times I will keep quiet. But it is in my personality to speak up, mm-hmm. and so it makes your strength. And this is where, uh, what what brought you here as well today, right? For sure, I wouldn't have even been able to wear some of the hats that I've worn in the past mm-hmm. um, without it. Um, having a strong voice is definitely different. So it's kind of hard because, uh, yeah, working around men, I had such a resp- you know you find this new respect for them because you see the other side where they're coming and crying about their wife because of of certain reasons but also being like around the guys on the job site they're like she's going crazy she thinks this I'm like yeah because she's stuck in four walls and she's not feeling like fulfilled in other ways so obviously that's on her she's got to figure that out herself obviously also there's hormones like men don't really understand that after childbirth maybe for the next year or two that there's going to be changes and there's going to be changes forever after somebody like has babies um it changes your the wife's biology we don't um, have babies, both of us, right? No, we got yeah, no yeah. babies. <laughs> Just make it clear, you know. No babies, but so. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think it's a life change, life changing experience for sure. Yeah, for sure. And um, what I what I really liked in the movie is, uh, well, we s- we can see both um, both worlds. So Barry is a very superficial world. I really the thing that was we d- had no expectations of the movie, right? And no I expectations was and the I best. And I told you before, when we have expectations, in which applies in our life as well, it never works out actually, right? Ever. <laughs> right? <laughs> no expectations <laughs> is always the best because, yeah, this is, uh, and yeah, this is what, how we went to the movie. We didn't know what ex- what to expect, how it would be, if it would be childish or for adults or whatever. We didn't even research really didn't nothing. Just then went I, there. And we ended up crying. I, I, end up, I was crying, bro. I'm like, I was crying. I was feeling liberated. I was looking at the men and feeling then sorry for them because, you know, it just uh, so so many, it was so many mixed messages. And then, yeah, also just like, it kind of like puts you in your place because for for me, like, like I said, I've done all these things as like a first of this and come on women, let's do it. And then at the same time, like you saw when all the women, like they were fighting over Ken's and I'm just like, this is the world we live in. Like bitches are bitches and they'd rather fight over a Ken than actually like go and do something for themselves. And I don't, I don't know. I don't really uh, overly, uh, hell, I don't want to hang with people like that anyway, but yeah, it was, it was super different to watch. Puts you in your place. Cause you realize that maybe we've been fighting a lot of this stuff for such a long time. And yes, are we out of the kitchen and voting? Sure. But have we actually taken any of the shackles off? Like, have we? We've got men and women's sport, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's it's like we've got the same issues and then 
the powers that be that are obviously men for what, you know, that's what the boardroom was. There was a boardroom of men. These men are still controlling and they've now just switched the game or switched like how we should be feeling. And it, to me that it just felt strange. We're still fighting the same stuff, except now we're literally fighting like men as who believe they should be women. So mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I don't know. There was a lot. A lot of messages. There definitely. Was so I think we much. need to explain a little bit the movie because th- a lot of people wouldn't have seen the movie. Spoiler uh, alert! A lot of m- spoiler alert! Let's spoil. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's just the main mm. topic. I think, yeah, we have the Barbie world, who is very superficial, where women rule the world clearly, right? Clearly. And then the human world, where men mainly rule the world and disrespect women and things like that. I, th- I w- the only thing I didn't really like in the movie. It was an awesome movie. Uh, is that Ken was so gay to me? I'm telling you, <laughs> <laughs> and this broke my that heart. Comes, that comes <laughs> down to your taste in guys. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and this is so. And this is how the movie reveals yourself. You know. Yeah, true. And it it has many personalities, and this is how it was so eye opening for me. Brought you what you like, what you don't like, um, what what relates to yourself, and. The movie, I think, helps you find yourself m- more, no? Yeah. So to I've me, definitely. Well, okay, so we've just had Noelle have her second fight in one. Um, things didn't go her way and go to plan. Um, and we walked out of this movie and she's having, like, revela- life revelations from her childhood as to what got, like, even triggered her in in the cage, um, mm-hmm. which is just such a crazy thing for a movie to do. Which is why Definitely. everyone needs to go and see it. It it might wake you up and I, I'm sure when you're like in, in the good position, like when you're winning the war. <laughs> <laughs> we have Bobby and Tyson oh who want to be here. He Bobby, be. we coming. <laughs> he wouldn't be here Please so be bad. patient. He yeah. wouldn't be here so bad. He could sit there. Um, he <laughs> but to walk out and like, yeah, you have those sorts of thoughts. It, yeah, really kind of. Good on Mattel and good on good on whoever. Yeah, like. they did they did a great job, and we had we had actually a mushroom trip, uh, <laughs> just one day before, right? Yeah, the day, the day before. before, where we cried and laughed, and those emotions we had in the movie as well, and we didn't yeah. expect. We cried a lot. We laughed we a, lot. a lot. It was it was a really good movie, yeah. eye opening and. Yeah. I think it kind of shows. See, I'm coming off a loss in my last bare knuckle fight. Um, a lot of strange things kind of happened um, within the Thailand circuit. Um, so, for anyone that's ever fought in Thailand, they totally understand what I'm talking about um, within the stadium circuits um, and what can happen within, yeah, just food and water and, and things like that. Um, yeah, you d- it's when you're in like this mental thing it's just yeah it's just such a different thing to try and pull yourself out of so yeah we the day before we're like doing shrooms uh, down on the beach and and even pulling out like cards like guys we've gone to the extreme here <laughs> we needed answers we needed True. a brain reset and we got we, we w- i was i was I was determined that I had been cursed. Uh, we went and got blessed too. by the monk. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> but sh- what you d- so the monk didn't um, seal the um, bracelet so well, I think on purpose. And in Tha- in Thai, um, how we say community or beliefs, uh, we say normally when the bracelet falls off, I think your wishes or something, whatever was the intention, might come true. Well, for us, we both felt lesson. like we were cursed, and you tightened it, right? I tightened <laughs> so it. <laughs> you're gonna be cursed for a little longer. I'm gonna be cursed for longer. <laughs> Why? But I can't. Okay. <laughs> Trust the process. And we had messages from snails as well. Yeah, because M- nature is just to take. Hey, you can see symbolism in easy. anything, you know. Sorry. You can see symbolism in anything. You can, Definitely. you can, but you can also read a book like five times, and each time you're you're pulling out some like different words from the pages. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. as you grow and see it through different eyes, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Super. F- super for that. Um, I wanted to know, like, did you play with Barbies? Yeah, a lot. A How lot. many Barbies are you like? And 
what was your like day like for for us as kids we would pull out like tea lights lighting tea lights that's our fire um we had you know we had one convertible car then who who didn't get the convertible car had the better clothes who didn't get the clothes um they got the be- like different parts you know like we had that was our setup True. um but for us it was a, a very intense thing i do go- i got to say i felt bad for weird barbie because if this was based off my barbies we didn't have a ken at the time i got a ken for my birthday eventually i bought it myself um i saved up <laughs> <laughs> but we got the barbies we chopped their hair off yeah, we got a brown the lipstick the and dyed the hair and okay. then we got a lighter well, i got a lighter and i burned the boobs off so they had out hollowed oh my boobs. god so when i'm looking at weird barbie and they're like why is she always in the splits i was thinking i'm like man That's my poor creation. barbie <laughs> I was like, my Barbies oh my have got god. burned off titties. Oh my um, god, you're so crazy. They're the, like the new transgenders. I was like, maybe I'm the re- you know, maybe I'm the reason. Maybe my portal Barbie world. <laughs> yeah, yeah, why not? No, I I didn't burn my Barbies in my memory. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, that's I definitely sh- a you think, Ty. Uh, maybe one, one or two I would shop the hair, create some clothes for them or something like that. But yeah, I love playing with Barbies. And to me, Barbie traumatized me. As a Asian small um, child living in the Netherlands with Barbie everywhere, they oh all look gosh, like Barbies. Oh my gosh, you lived there. around Barbie. I lived in Barbie world. Bro, <laughs> you cute, but I'm, I'm cute, sorry, but I'm Bye. different. Yeah, you yeah. cute. And they didn't have my Barbie at that time, you know. And they created uh, like different Barbies, like black, Asian, whatever, yeah. different. They uh, never had a short Barbie. Redhead or whatever. They never had a short Barbie. They never had a short Barbie. <laughs> they had Polly Pockets <laughs> then, but later... You, but I whatever. Never I want one but so bad. Later, they created those, but to me, they were always ugly. And if we look in Disney movies... I'm sorry, but Mulan, she's ugly. She's a man also, right? Yeah, kind of. Well, she at, was. At she was hiding as a soldier. She, she cute. Uh, yeah, hot. she cute. Like, like You're right. And the Asians, they look... <laughs> I'm sorry, but they don't look <laughs> hot. They look like men. And Pocahontas, maybe I would relate to Pocahontas. She's a little... Yeah, I could relate beautiful. her. She loves nature. I, I feel a bit like her. But still, she's not like um, so really feminine. They made them a bit like masculine or something. Yeah, I think for some to be reason, more strong. you know. But whatever. Just Barbie traumatized my childhood a little bit, but I loved her. I loved playing with it. Uh, it was my safe place, actually, in my bedroom. T- you know, was was good memories. I feel like the way they spoke about Barbie. Um, for me, I loved Barbie, and I loved that I could use my imagination. Now, imagination is what actually can help, like, show intelligence and like. Uh, brain development and like helps you th- later in school like imagination is key um even for me i had like a shitty upbringing and it's actually imagine my imagination that helped me to get to where i am today so imagination exactly. is such an important tool as a kid um for playing for later in life like yeah just to use that um and i love like how they talked about like oh barbie made me believe like i could be like this and i'm like man i thought that but i was watching x-men and thinking like oh my god if rogue can do that i can do it too Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so i kind of i was i i don't ever remember being like this is the baba barbie i did want gymnast barbie i because i was like i'm an athlete i want that's me i'm that barbie that was probably the closest barbie i could think of um that i felt like i was like the closest to until i got a tiny little jasmine and then i was like yeah i'm jasmine with a tiger mm-hmm, fuck yeah, all these blondes <laughs> nice. fuck all these blonde hoes but i thought it was kind of special i didn't realize like i think not that i didn't realize but i wasn't i wasn't you're neither of us are typically girly girly i'm very uh-huh. girly and i yes i balled out in barbies but i i guess i never saw barbie as my hero but i also didn't realize that Barbie had such like an impact role um, in the way that it was like, hey, a Barbie can be a doctor. A Barbie can, can be anything. Can be anything. Can be anything. Um, and this is why it's so inspirational. And now with, with the new movie, they corrected this and anyone can associate to yeah. Barbie or Ken, by the way. Yeah, because the Kens were there in the movie. And I think it's also a, a great movie for men. I also felt that men could be insecure in those things and for uh, sure i really love that message you know that we're actually all the same you know we both have masculine and feminine energy inside of us and it's just um 
yeah finding yourself who you are right yeah and i think this movie is such eye-opening for en everyone and also the world we live in today and how we relate with it how to think for ourselves in in this in this new world we live in now and yeah. everything is changing everything feels a bit maybe unbalanced or unnatural and in finding your true self and uh also yeah your belief system your imagination especially when you were a child who were you when you was when you were a child who who are you actually you know yeah deeply inside i think there is i think yeah our kid is like still in there because all the things that i you know either physically loved doing or imagined that i would be is actually still like a huge part of who i am like right now even down to the drawings that i would do i would draw like tomb raider type girls and i definitely feel like i've taken a tomb raider kind of yeah. i don't know route in life mm -hmm, um mm -hmm. but yeah definitely i think one thing also was when she started going i'm just stereotypical barbie mm -hmm. now how many girls like okay so for us we we got we're lucky i feel like we're f we're famous mm -hmm. we're famous fighters <laughs> you know um <laughs> which is which is like one thing <laughs> which is one thing um but i i'm sure that's what made me feel a bit sad is i'm like i f i feel like every girl forgets that she's not just stereotypical like you're not just a stereotypical girl and just because you might not have claimed like this fame or blue ticks or likes or whatever the fuck all that shit has like made us like need which it, hey it, it is means to the to an end it's, it's just business it's That's just business bus it's just business for yeah. sure but like i we need to get to a point where everyone can feel like and understand that they all have different talents. And I'm sure that when people start realizing and looking more within, which is what I hope people can get from this movie is like, Hey, look within and figure out what you actually like, figure mm -hmm. out what you actually want to wear, figure out what you, how you actually want to be. Definitely. Because I feel, I feel like we meet just so many clones of a Kardashian or some, I don't know, in Australia. Okay. So I'm going back to America. We're playing footy, and every time I go back to Australia, it become I felt like it was becoming like more MTV, more MTV, to a point where I felt like I everyone's talking like this, and I and was they just look like, like each other yeah, as well. I just remember <laughs> being like, "What happened to Australia? Like this place is fuck, you know?" I was like, "What happened here? Like I don't, I've just come back from America. Well, I don't want to be bloody." What the hell? Came here to get grounding. Um, yeah, for sure. But that's okay as well. If this is their reality at the end of the day. Yeah, true. You know, I, I love, this is what I love about Thailand is the non-judgment and let everyone be who they want to be and accept everyone for who they are, right? Yeah. And everyone has their own shadows and traumas and highs and downs and that's what makes that's what makes life i don't know about my english but no, <laughs> yeah that's good that's, english. that's life and and yeah just fun find out who you are and what i liked as well from the barbie movie is there was also a, so barbie can be anything but she can also be just a normal barbie who you know the mom she's actually one of the best uh, players in this in this movie i don't know her name the um, the mom the mexican mom yeah she w she just wanted to be normal and what that's what she said like is it okay can we make a barbie that's just like normal and doesn't have any talents or also can just be normal and yeah you know maybe she's happy in that life as well you know yeah well, at the end of the day what's important is to be happy and whatever you like if yeah. your thing is cooking then go cook or cook just for your child or whatever you know or if it's to be a superstar then go be a superstar or if your yeah. thing is to ride horses in Dagestan, then go get it. <laughs> <laughs> it can be anything, you know. I want to ride horses uh, in Dagestan. Yeah, I don't know why I dropped that. <laughs> I really do. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is what I what I got from the movie. Do you have things you dislikes and likes from the movie that you want to add? I think it was just more the realization of um, that we haven't really come that far. Uh, and then just feeling sad in the thought that there would be men going in and watching that and true there were two men behind us right yeah and just can do they see that there is unfairness or and if it isn't unfairness why is that now isn't there an unfairness because you feel that 
like the person is of either weaker or less intelligent like or you they need to be cared for or babied so if if that is the difference then why aren't the people who are feeling like they're like the the minority or the the weaker the weaker like group why aren't they stepping up and and you know being more Mm-hmm. And, and I felt like a men understanding that they maybe need to be more for us or I don't know I just started having like all these strange thoughts as to yeah equality I get it like we're getting there <laughs> do I think that in every workplace we sh- it should be 50 50 of men and women no um, I'm sorry I don't I relate with you. I, yeah I, I don't agree. think that I'm from a blue collar working um like lifestyle if it was all female on a job si- on a job site it just wouldn't get done the way that it can with men do i think like yeah is everyone fit for each job no because i wouldn't want that ken doll on my job site either like he just stands there and beaches like <laughs> go beach beach yourself off somewhere else <laughs> <laughs> People aren't understand you know thing, but yeah. um watch the movie Anyways. watch the movie yeah but that's yeah that's kind of that was like my sadness of it um and then obviously not sad, but just like the cr- the tears of maybe joy or realization or just like empathy. allow empathy or just, I don't know, something being released in a way where I, I think I felt more proud in myself in being a woman mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and I felt more, yeah, more proud of myself in being a woman that like, oh gosh, really like loves girl power. Mm-hmm. I think, I think females have lost that. Mm-hmm. That made me sad. Why you say that? Why? 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 why because do you say this? women, we've lost something. Mm-hmm. Like w- <laughs> everyone's like, girl power, all this shit. Yeah, okay, Sandra. Like, okay, Sally. Okay, bitch. Like, then be that. Like, I feel they're they're so wanting to do stuff for the selfie but aren't actually genuinely there to be another woman's friend or speak highly of someone in a room. Like Mm -hmm. I think that when they had the change of that, like within Barbie, Barbie land, that really shows, um, you know, the culture we're actually living in is they literally have these girls in Barbie land serving a beer to their guy. Now, Hey, I'll, I'll definitely be serving a good dinner to my man. Like don't future man. Don't even play. I'm very traditional. She'll be a good woman. She'll be a good woman. But yeah. like, uh, should we to be the fired? Right man, though. Yeah, to the right man. Like <laughs> the, these Barbies are just uh, claiming. And then, you know, like wait in this world, right? In this world. Mm-hmm. It's just strange. That stuff's just so strange to me. I think we have everything, you know, also there's people you're going to vibe with and people you're not going to vibe with. And that's also okay. You know? Yeah. Right. I'm here. Don't worry. <laughs> you know, girl power. No, we good. Be more girl power girls. You're killing me. You're killing my vibe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, f- for me, um, o- also, yeah, I heard people, uh, complaining about the ending of the movie that uh, s- uh I'm, I'm gonna fucking spoil <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> but yeah they don't finish together barbie and ken they don't finish together and i actually like it i think this is how you finish a movie like leave a uh, free interpretation to the watcher right yeah so it, it so if it triggers you then maybe go uh, find a, a man or a woman they may have done this okay so you know we've got adam and eve now did you know, I only just learned this, that Adam originally was with Lilith. Now, Lilith ended up going and being with this archangel, like, badass and leaving Adam. And Adam was, sa- like, all sad. And then they made a more inferior, like, like a girlier girl. Like, a, bla- a, li- a Lilith would have been more like us, like, ah, fiery. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, spoke back to Adam. Um, and, yeah, she left... They end up fighting and she leaves Adam for, yeah, the archangel and Adam gets Eve. Now, in the end, Eve is very, like, obviously Eve fucked up. She ate that apple, but she was always more submissive and listened to Adam. Mm -hmm. Now, in the stories, that's why when she, they didn't end up together, I thought, wow, what an open ending thing. And maybe they're relating that back because isn't, like, Adam and Eve is Bible talk, so people can... can True, but it's a feminist movie anyways. Yeah, true. I would have liked the happy ending that they are together and everything perfect, but 
Ken That's is, not Ken the day we live in. Anyways we're living in a world. <laughs> we're living in a world where more people are going to be single than not. This yeah, th- this world. This is where it's going. I feel yeah. it's separating. We're They're taking more away women, tradition of we're family. More women than men, right? Naturally. Naturally. Yeah. For and m- then predominantly for and most then, guys. Uh, the men of our generation they're all turning gay right with the society because it's they making are kind m- of. women more masculine and men thank you Tristan thank god <laughs> that was funny <laughs> oh, we need to keep this <laughs> you killed it thanks Tristan <laughs> oh my god but it is right this world is where it's turning more masculine men and more feminine women right yeah and yeah, this is where it's separating, and I, if I, to me, it feels unnatural. But I accept everyone for who they are, and that that's okay, you know. But it feels unnatural. Is it an know? environmental thing, or I remember reading once. So we're XX chromosome, and they've always talked about like if one side is like diminishing, then it can be replenished by the other X, mm-hmm. and. Obviously, men are X, Y. Men are X, Y. Mm-hmm. Okay? Transgenders, you are X, Y. I'm sorry. Yeah. And with X, Y, when one diminishes, it's a, it's a Y and an X. So, they can't, like, heal each other or something in the in these. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. I am not super intelligent. This was an article I read a very long time ago. Yeah. Um, but I remember it talked about that. Now, really... Alexander the Great, those guys were those guys were gay too out on war. Like they were out in war, what seven or eleven years or something. They were gay. Mm-hmm. So maybe it, just for some, it's that's just what it is. Yeah, and, natu- and now nature is imperfect. Anyway. Nature is imperfect. <laughs> <laughs> we are all imperfect. I'm imperfect. I'm y- you are imperfect. imperfect. <laughs> yeah, everyone is, you know, and that's okay. And that's okay. You you can be just be the best version of yourself. Be the best at doing what you're good at and what you love. What makes you happy. And yeah, that's the message I got from it. Um, then yeah, f- I, l- I like that it's free interpretation for the happy end. If you don't want children or want to be alone, or if you're happy like that, then that's your decision. I think at the end of the day, you know, what's essential is to feel safe and loved, right? This is what we all seek at the end of the day. Am I right? Of course. I think that's that's essential. But essential. S- good I think food. S- good in food. Inner good security. Um, she. Obvi- she obviously started having strange thoughts and was all of a sudden feeling like a new, different person. She had thoughts of death. I'm the yeah. spoiler. <laughs> thoughts of she had thoughts of death. <laughs> she had thoughts of death. Which is only strange for... That's a normal thing to think of as a human, but maybe not as a Barbie. Let's exactly. <laughs> what just was in the movie. <laughs> just to say that. Um, yeah. Stereotypical Barbie. You feel? Did you feel like as a little girl, you know, like... I th- I I love that they really pushed that every day was a good day in Barbie Land, you know. My life every day is a good day. I'm telling you. Yeah. I relate to this. That's since me too. Ever. I was like, since oh, ever. I feel like make I every live day. There. This is. This I live in Cloudland too, bro. Is, is it woman like? I think a little bit, right? Yeah. Men are more like. Ah, let's let's do it. <laughs> work. <laughs> Oh, it's whack. Nice. Uh, grind, grind, grind. <laughs> and we're more like, let's make it nice. Let's put some music. Let's put some candles. It has to smell nice. It and has that's to look why it nice. comes back to roles. Yeah, right. We have both so our roles. We're being, f- yeah, <laughs> we're being forced to work. Yeah. <laughs> Instead <laughs> In of just world. being. <laughs> yeah, true. True. Yeah. But this is why we have, I think men and the divine masculine and the divine feminine uh, complete each other, like the moon and the sun, right? Yeah. Like like all the symbolism we can find in nature everywhere. And I think we're we're on a good path, and people are opening their eyes, their third eye, and getting more conscious. And Definitely. Those movies help to this, you know. It's. I was. I thought it was crazy for a, a Mattel. I was like. How are they releasing this? I feel like I'm not surprised. I had a good feeling about it. Yeah, actually, I'm I had no expectation. But when mm. the f- movie started, I was actually a bit scared because it looked so plastic and childlike in the oh beginning. Yeah. The first ten, five, ten minutes, I was like, "Whoa, is this maybe we're a bit too old?" You know what? Or I started judging actually, but I sinked into the movie and it was f- so good, funny, emotional, and. Uh, so many perspectives we can have and yeah, I really loved it. This yeah. Is, uh, yeah. I definitely loved it and I didn't think I was going to because in my head I wanted to go to Oppenheimer, okay? Was that? I wanted to go to Oppenheimer. 
Oppenheimer? In the like war movie. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess so. I didn't even see it. And then I thought, no, let's get let's wear pink. Let's do this. Um, but yeah, super shocked. What yeah. did you get from the movie? Did you get a message about yourself or? I think for one, since being since like getting to watch that, I saw like parts of myself when I was just way more immersed in my own self like and I realized I was like wow I was so much I'm am I'm so much more happier when I'm present and I put my music on and I'm a rock star I'm a superstar I'm the main character I'm feeling it I'm on my scooter <laughs> I'm gonna go get a juice you know and I I since watching it and I've just started to feel more like my my normal self and I, I think I don't know where I lost that I think maybe having that sort of confidence in the wrong relationships have like kind of crushed you know kind of crushed that out of me um just because they felt insecure and you know you start they to change on you yeah, right? because they projected on me and um always kind of like yelling if my head was in the cloud or I was always <laughs> like overly positive and ditzy but um hell i was electrician back then i should have just told that guy to get out of here um but we live and learn um so yeah that's i started seeing like parts of my old self like my t not old self because it's still myself but me at a set age where i was like oh my gosh now i can i see my i understand why people always like try and pull me aside and and you know mm -hmm. try and wake me up Yeah. Which they shouldn't have let. They shouldn't have left me in my, left me in my bubble. Yeah, <laughs> I, I believe that. But trust the process as well. We we as you say, we learn and we grow from it, and you know, getting better and getting closer to our dreams every day. And yeah, that's beautiful. I think it showed like more acceptance in hey, like sometimes you're gonna question things that are in your head, and it's okay. Like it's okay to feel off. It's okay to feel weird, um, because that's kind of what growing up can do and your self evolving can do um and yeah sometimes you're not like on the high in barbie world like sometimes you're in like dead set reality and i i think that's what i kind of started seeing like it as because life is a sine wave you know um so the highs can be great and then the lows can be lessons um and i just felt yeah i felt like it it brought me back into like such a present moment um, where I just started feeling so much more, yeah, appreciative of the position I'm in now, um, realizing like how far I've come from the days when I was playing Barbies and making up like this dream world. Like I always wanted to be, I was always like, hee hee, always have, I don't know, always just having these crazy adventures as a Barbie, you know? Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and I, I felt like, it, yeah, it's kind of cool to see yourself like in a movie and then feel like you're sitting beside your kid self kid mm -hmm. the seven-year-old version of you and being like hee hee this is fun yeah you we know are a projection of our imagination and our belief system for exactly sure. yeah this exactly we can see yeah. but it starts from childhood definitely that's why i i invite everyone to seek into your childhood your inner your inner child your s who you are you know and get answers go see the movie as a man and a, or a woman you know you will get a lot of messages for sure you will have fun you probably will cry uh you will have a good time you know and go there with no judgment you know no judgment no expectations just have a good time get pop some popcorn some sushis whatever you like <laughs> And yeah, just have a good time and be open-minded. I think it's important to always stay open-minded and accepting. And yeah, go Did see you play it. heaps We're as a concert. kid? Huh? Did you play heaps as a kid? A lot. A lot. Always. Like outside, inside. Always. Both. Video games. Yeah, I was very creative as a child. Comic books. I think I'm still... Did you cook, you know? Everything, yeah. Do all the pretend. Yeah, the girl stuff. The baby, the, the cooking. Baby. <laughs> yeah, like the... the traditional woman role as a child i would play for sure do you think that's because of where you grew up yeah i think so it's the way i grew up and also it's in I in me you know naturally i think from past generations you know yeah for sure what's also what is, what's all your mix what's your mix again you're like thai oh yeah, so thai born in the netherlands and french and you're i am like it's scottish irish because they said it's from the same location 
and Maori and Australian. That's why I thought also it was so interesting because we're we grew up in so different places and it's interesting to have both our uh, perspective on life and the movie and whatever, you know? Yeah, for sure. I'm def yeah, we've definitely got super similarities in ways and then totally opposite in others. Yeah, for totally sure. opposite in others. Yeah, um, and that's what makes it so interesting, you know. We have we have <laughs> such great conversation outside outside of here. It's all it's always different to me when there's a camera. It feels like quantum physics, you know. When there's a <laughs> third eye <laughs> watching, it changes the experience a little bit. You'll get better at it. Yeah, for sure. I need to feel <laughs> comfortable with it. Yeah. This is also in finding myself and being confident in myself and those things, you know. I'm also naturally a little bit shy. Actually, I was. I think the more like you're doing this, the more you're. Yeah, for sure. You know, the more you're going to just feel way more natural and want to speak yeah, and yeah. know what to ask or, yeah. Or I guess you'll start to see like patterns in just like what your presence will bring out in your, mm -hmm, like. Mm -hmm. I'm not forcing anything, by the way. This is what we just set it up like that. No, we're we just talking. Float Indigo sponsoring this video. Thank you, Tristan, by the way. Thank you, Tristan. <laughs> Sorry for Bubby. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, you're I'll my. I'll never be on the show again. <laughs> you will. <laughs> we'll get you back when we find when we find a topic you know i to me it drops if it drops naturally it's something i'm willing to do if people like it as well you know and i think you're super interesting for sure thanks for sharing your story thanks for your time as well and uh, yeah shall we do you want to add something um no this is your show mate i'm just here matter. to speak and help in yeah, this way yeah, yeah it doesn't matter it was great to have you there's heaps we could say you know but let's keep something for the future you know and yeah thank you so much for your time and see you guys soon and always yeah be yourself and yeah have fun in life and yeah seek seek into yourself and yeah be better every day a little bit and be happy and healthy cheers <laughs> <laughs>